Hey YouTubers, welcome to Primal Reef and Acrylics. Um, it's been a long time since I actually made a video on my fish tank. Unfortunately, my fish tank will be on sale. It's actually it is on sale. I'm selling everything. There's going to be a custom project that I'm going to do for my for my reef tank. Uh, you guys will still get. I, I'm still in the hobby. Um, I'm stuck on it. I can't leave the hobby, so it's I'm still in it. The thing is, I'm just selling my tank because there's another project that I want to do. It's going to be a custom aquarium that uh, it's very limited in the world actually. So I'll give you more information on that afterwards. I just wanted to give you a little quick video on a tank that I did for a customer. Um, this one here, it's for a customer and he has mantis shrimps. Now there are different types of mantis shrimps. You guys can definitely Google them online. Um, there are some that hide away in the rocks. There are some that burrow deep within the sand. Um, this particular mantis shrimp that this customer has, it's actually the one that burrows into the sand. So this aquarium, every glass that you see there is half inch thick, so that's 12 millimeters. The length from the height on it, it's 24 inches. The length is 13. The depth, which is the width, it's uh, 6 inches. So it's not a pretty big tank, but the thing with this is, these mantis shrimp don't really uh, need, once they make a home for themselves, they don't venture out outside of the hole that they have, which is their home, except for the fact of eating. So you don't need a gigantic tank for this particular type of mantis shrimp. Again, half inch thick is for the mantis shrimp not to crack the glass, so be it, make, uh, just make, make sure they don't uh, start flicking the glass. I'm sure you guys seen a couple of videos online. Um, but again, this is a do-it-yourself project. I didn't do the whole video it's because uh, I am alone on this project. So just wanted to give you an uh, overview of the self uh, direct injection style that I've actually... Um, there's, there's, there's different ways of gluing aquariums or siliconing. Some of the way that you see in majority of the main manufacturers like Marine Land Perfecto tanks is that right in the corner you will see pretty much a quarter inch out this way and quarter inch out on the other side. The direct injection method allows you to have anywhere from 1 16 to 3 16 of an inch and you create a little gap in between and then uh, you, you find your, your silicone finds its way inside. Um, sorry, I can't really give you too much information on this. Reason why is because it is a very secret method that nobody really tells the big manufacturers. I don't want to start uh, ripping away and start telling everybody online and <clears throat> especially posting this stuff online. It's not good for my business. Um, I don't know if this is a patented idea or not. I'm sure it's not, but just to be on the safe side, um, overall, this is what a direct injection aquarium looks like. So the silicone is only the half inch going down on the leading edges. That's it. There's no silicone on the inside or the outside. So this is again, oh, there's a little piece I forgot there. <coughs> uh, sorry, here, show you this side. Okay, there we go. Oh, my camera's not focusing, I apologize everybody. But uh, overall, uh, direct injection, yeah, it's, it's only on the leading edges. Now, I've seen some tanks you can get away with 3 8 or a quarter inch glass, but I feel more comfortable and safer doing it on half inch plus. Now, my future tank that I'm going to build, it's going to be 3 quarters of an inch thick. Um, a custom cut with this system here again I have all the edges and the sides polished off so everything looks evenly straight um, even from one glass to the other you don't see any gaps or anything if I bring this down a little bit just gives you an idea that there's a straight look Alright guys, if you have any questions, comments, please uh, listen below or even some recommendations on uh, how to improve this. I can definitely take your advice and I 
we'll definitely um, hit you back on the, the comments that you guys do send me. To see more pictures on how the system was built, you can actually go on to Primal Reef and Acrylics on Facebook or you can just Google me and Primal Reef and Acrylics with an S and you can see all the pictures that I've built on all my projects. Okay, so this is the just the end result. Quick five minute video, not too long. And uh, that's it. Okay guys, hope you do like it. A mantis shrimp tank, half inch thick. 13 inches in length, 6 inches in width, and 24 inches high with an 18 inch deep sand bed. Hopefully I can get a video from the customer's place and give you guys an update on how this system looks. Um, for my other tank that I built, the 48 inches by I think it was 12 by 6 inches high, that, that customer has already been housing three different types of mantis shrimp in there so you can again Log on to my Facebook, the pictures of that tank with the mantis shrimp inside are there. So it just gives you an idea. Stay tuned for a future video on this system here. I will be going over with the customer and giving you another update with the mantis shrimp inside. Stay tuned for the big project that I'm going to be having for Primal Reef and Acrylics. Uh, stay tuned for future videos. Thank you everybody and have a great day.